paraphrasing is required when you write an academic paper. It's preferable to quoting. And I want to talk about the difference between paraphrasing and quoting. So let's, to begin with, um, quoting is taking something directly, copy and pasting it into a paper, and then citing. And that, that works for some things, such as um, definitions or a statement that's just too good to uh, um, paraphrase. You can't figure out a way to restate it any better. But quoting should be limited, very limited in a paper. So let me give you an example of, of quoting versus paraphrasing using a children's story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And when you when you take a, a book, a children's book, and you read them a bedtime story directly from the book, you are quoting. This is a direct quote from the author to the child. So it's the same thing as when you copy and paste out of a journal article or a textbook and paste it into your paper. That is the author speaking. It is not your own words. It is, requires no, uh, no complex thought on your process. You're just dropping that in. No analysis, no understanding to be able to copy and paste that statement in there. So now it creates a weak argument because you're just, just telling us what the book said. So paraphrasing is preferred when you write papers. You're paraphrasing the, the, what the author said, but you're using your own thoughts and words to tell the story. It also means that you understand the topic in much greater depth. So as an example from reading a child's story uh, book, um, you open up the book, you look at it, okay, I know this story, I got this, and you set it aside, and you you just tell them the story about how Goldilocks uh, um, broke into this house that three bears owned. That I, they were gone one day out shopping, and she decided that she was going to take a nap, and she jumped on one bed, and I was too hard, and got onto another one. It's too soft. Ah, this one's just right. And then she decided to. She was hungry, and 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 uh, ate their supper. You know, some of it was too hot, some of it was too cold. One was just right, so. You know, she contaminated the first two bowls, and so they, you know, throw that out. And then the third one, she ate that up. So she wasted an entire meal for an entire family to serve her selfish needs. That is paraphrasing a story. So when you do this in academic papers, you understand the topic whether it's leadership or management, whatever the topic is, you understand that topic well enough to tell about it in your own words. And then at the end of that discussion, in your own words, you cite the author. And, you know, just, just like you always do. You know, last name, comma, uh, um, year. Now, the benefit, another benefit of paraphrasing is you're able to create complex thoughts and put them down on paper. So you are able to create compound thoughts based on the research of one author versus the research of another. Or you can combine the two thoughts together into a single, into a single statement or paragraph. So all of a sudden, you have a much deeper analysis than you can possibly do with quoting. Quoting a source and filling your paper with quotes is not a sign of a strong writer. It's not what academics ask for. It's not what the professor asks for. When they ask for sources, they want you to cite paraphrased or to create paraphrased thoughts on paper. They don't want you quoting. There's no place in an assignment that said, quote three different authors. It says provide sources or use three sources or four sources or however many. They don't want quotes. They want original, original writing explaining what you learned in your own words. I hope that helps. Um, if you have questions, 
please feel free to reach out to me and I will be happy to answer any questions you have. Have a good day. Bye-bye.